morning. It is Chrissy Jackson and Till One, BBC Radio North at the lunchtime takeover. We're after those fantastic intros to songs. So if there's one that you want to hear, one that you want us to play, 01603 617 321. Sophie, we're, we're with you in Swanton Novas. What's going on? <laughs> Chrissy, I think I jinxed it by talking about the roaring fire because now we've moved outside and we've got Packamax on uh, to try and make this work for you. Um, I'm here in Swanton Novas um, to get as close as I possibly can to two brothers who've meant a lot to us over the 10 years we've been doing BBC Introducing. They call themselves the Watanabes. We've played them tons and tons throughout the years. Um, but they live in Japan. They live uh, in Tokyo and uh, have done for a long time now. And um, they are from Swanton Novas and write a lot of stuff about their life back here. They're the big, big fans of Norfolk. So um, apparently there wasn't budget to go to Japan as such. <laughs> uh, the closest we could possibly get, and actually it's very, very interesting. I'm really, really happy to meet them. I've got Martin and Stephanie Walsh here, who are the parents of Duncan and Selwyn. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Sophie. And thank you for inviting us. Oh, not at all. Now, this is the house that they grew up in, isn't it? That's it right. certainly is. And by that roaring fire, there was a piano. And uh, I wonder, have, have they always been musical boys? Have you been a musical family? I think they always enjoyed music from an early age. Yeah. They, they learnt the violin when they were about seven, didn't they? They did. We were very lucky having a violin teacher actually in the village, which was really lucky. And some, and, uh, some of the earlier stuff that they sent to us was quite related to specifically here where we stood. Tell me about some of those songs. Well, I think one of the, uh, one of the songs that I have best of all was related to their school, the Astley County Primary School. Um, they were so happy there. There were some fantastic teachers, weren't there? And lovely children. Yeah, absolutely and lovely children. Made lots of lifetime friends and obviously wanted to write about those happy experiences growing up. And we love the way that they write about them. We've been big fans for a long time. And luckily for us, they come back usually about once a year and sometimes pop into the studio and give us an interview, which is brilliant. Um, but what was it like for you when they went to Japan in the first place? Because it's a, a long distance between you and your, your sons, really. That's right. Well, I think Selwyn was the first one to go to Japan. Um, and it, it was because he'd been in Munich teaching English. Um, and while there, he met a Japanese uh, girl and they were very sort of friendly. And she was telling him all about Japan and the excitements of Tokyo. And I think he suddenly realised that he could teach English over there. Um, and so that was the first uh, th thing that happened, wasn't it, really? He went off to Japan. <laughs> and then, of course, his brother, when he graduated, so I'm persuaded that Duncan to go and join him. So <laughs> they were together again, united. <laughs> yeah. And have you visited Japan over the years? Yes, we have. We've been uh, to Kyoto and Duncan got married in April. So we went again to Tokyo to visit them and celebrate the marriage. It, um, it, it's a long way to travel, but it must have been quite amazing. And they've actually put on a special show for you before, haven't they? It's playing live. Oh, they did. That's right. In a lovely little nightclub in Tokyo. And uh, it was fabulous sort of North seeing North them. North Norfolk Nights, they, they call it. That's right. They called it the North Norfolk Nights. <laughs> and, um, I mean, you must miss the boys a lot. We do. We do. But uh, it's so got... brilliant having Skype because we can speak to them every week, you know, and uh, it's just lovely seeing them. But equally, you, you bring up children to, uh, to develop their own interests and ambitions, and yes. if, if they're happy in Japan, so are we. So um, I, I know that the music must keep you close to them, listening to their music. I know you're big fans of their music as well. Um, but I, th I thought actually it might be nice to um, get you to chat to a couple of people that I, I know you might want to have a, a talk to today, if, oh, if you're up for it. I, so. I, I believe on the line uh, we might have your boys. Oh, that's very clever, Anna. How did you manage that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Duncan, Selwyn, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Sophie. It's Duncan. Oh, Duncan! <laughs> you could be... S fantastic, fantastic. I, I, you should be in bed at this time, surely. <laughs> yeah, I should be. You're very lucky. <laughs> Where, Actually, where, where are you speaking from? Oh, we're speaking yes. from my house, Dad. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie, I don't know if they told you, but our little brother, he lives in America. Uh, so there's oh. three boys and they're all abroad. I'm I sorry, know, Mom, Dad. I know. <laughs> oh. But it must we, mean amazing holidays for everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's Well, it does. Yeah. And, we had a, and our, our, we our had... little brother's getting married next. Uh, August, so hopefully we can all meet in Oklahoma and see each other. That would be brilliant. Yeah, that That's would what... be nice. That would yeah, be lovely. Fantastic. Yeah. And what's happening for you over there at the moment? Um, well, we've got some excitement in November because um, 
<laughs> one of our friends uh, introduced us to a band in America called Ramesh, and they wanted to do a tour in Japan. So we um, kind of connected with them and we arranged for them to play a few shows with us in Tokyo. So we're kind of going to do a dual sort of tour together in, in Tokyo and around Japan for a while. So that's pretty exciting. And, it's uh, always we're also exciting releasing, with you guys. We're also releasing a kind of a, an album in November as well, which is our two EPs combined. And uh, a Japanese indie label offered to put that out for us. So that's quite exciting wow. too. <laughs> And um, um, tell sorry. me a little, a little, yeah, go for it. Sorry, Sophie, I just want to say it's very exciting to be on the Chrissy Jackson show too because me and Selwyn used to listen to Chrissy Jackson on uh, Radio Broadland when we were young and we'd make <laughs> tapes of the shows to listen to the music. So oh, this it. is it's like it's come full circle. <laughs> this is amazing. That's made me laugh. I'm just going to butt in there, Sophie, because that's, that's made me blush. <laughs> Hi, Chrissy. Hello there. How are you? Oh, nice to meet you. It's you nice know. to hear your voice. <laughs> oh, dear me. Do, do you remember, Mum? We yes, used to drive yes, back I do. from the Copeland Centre disco and we'd listen That's to Radio right. Portland and it would oh, be Chrissy Jackson. <laughs> That's yeah. right, I remember it well. Oh, brilliant. The point of social <laughs> anyway, ambition yeah. going to the disco at the Copeland Centre. <laughs> I, I shouldn't hog the call. Can I pass to Selwyn? Of course, we'll have a, a quick chat with you, Selwyn. Um, oh, sorry, quick chat. Sel <laughs> Surprise! Hello. <laughs> Surprise! Hello, Sophie. How are you doing? This is the first time I've spoken to Mum and Dad in about two months. Oh. So, uh, is there anything you want to say to them? Uh, sorry, Mum and Dad, I've spoken for about two months. <laughs> Apologies. Well, you're well, too it's, busy. It's lovely to hear you now, busy. Selwyn. <laughs> yeah, I was oh, but we, we send messages to one another, so it's fine. Yeah, well, Facebook, Selwyn... No, yeah, no. So and I know that you guys have been very, you've been very busy um, to recording something, a bit of a treat for your parents. So t tell me what we've got coming. Oh, we have indeed, yeah. So uh, last Friday night, we went into uh, central Tokyo and we recorded a live session, especially for BBC Introducing and for Mum and Dad. So oh, thank you well, very much. Please boy, thank, you so, <laughs> thank you so much for doing that. Thanks for talking to us this morning. And I think we're going to hear that now. OK, thanks, Sophie. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're the Watanabes. We're honoured to be performing for BBC Radio Norfolk all the way over in Tokyo. We'd like to say a big thank you to BBC Introducing in Norfolk and we'd also like to say a very big hello to our mum and dad in Swanton Novus. And this is the first time they've actually seen us play live as a full band. So mum and dad, this is for you. Be the first to admit I got myself into a bit of a fix Been a little bit fast, a little bit rash Maybe a little over Over romantic Be the first to admit I'm not the perfect guy or the perfect fit been a little bit of this, a little bit of that Maybe a little over, over romantic I should, but now I know that I was wrong, and they were right. When the right thing's hard, I always thought that I was good, I never knew that I'd turn out quite this bad. Like in the movies or in 
left song All the things we've said All the tears we've shed Chasing our love left me for dead Chasing your love left me for dead Chasing your love left me for dead Chasing your love left me for dead Still only one girl in my head But now I know that I was wrong And they were right Doing the right thing's hard I always thought that I was good I never knew that I'd turn out quite this bad Tears we've shed Chasing your love Left me for dead 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 Still only one girl in my experience earlier Jay because um, the what uh, the Watton Abbey so we've been playing for probably the whole of the 10 years of uh, BBC introducing are brilliant they um, are from Swanton Novas uh, in Norfolk love the area that they grew up really love it which um, is is brilliant but then they moved to Japan and uh, and so the whole time that we've been playing them although they visit us in Norfolk most years uh, they've actually been living in Japan and making their music over there and making a mark over there so we really wanted to include them today and obviously we weren't going to go to Japan to do that um, we thought we tried <laughs> <laughs> we thought it'd be really nice to go and meet their parents and see the place where they grew up and see what inspired them uh, to make music so Earlier on today, I went and uh, met Stephanie and Martin Walsh, well, who's uh, the, the parents of uh, Duncan and Selwyn, and um, had a chat with them about their boys and got to surprise them by getting the boys on the line to chat with them as well. And they played uh, a track uh, for them, for their parents. If you want to see the video of it, it's on our Facebook page. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll, I had a little extra chat with them, which I'm going to play you now. Playing around, never thought that I should, but now I know that I was wrong, and they were right. When the right thing's hard, I always thought that I was good, I never knew that I'd turn out quite this bad. I'm in Swanton Novas and we're trying to get close to the Watton Abbeys today because uh, over the 10 years we've been doing BBC Introducing in Norfolk, they've been a band that have played a, a big part in our lives really, Duncan and Selwyn. However, they live in Japan, uh, even though they're from Swanton Novas, and we thought it'd be really lovely to go and meet uh, the two people that shaped them from <laughs> young children and introduced music into their lives. Um, I'm with Martin and Stephanie Walsh, their parents. Um, and 
earlier on, we heard from the boys live from Tokyo. Um, it was a bit of a surprise for you. <laughs> How did you feel? Oh, it was just wonderful hearing their voices. It was as if they were standing next to me. It was lovely and a great surprise. Thank you very much, Sophie. <laughs> You must miss them a lot. We sort of spoke about this earlier on. How do you feel close to them? How do you stay close? Well, we've got Skype, of course, which is a very effective IT tool, isn't it? We've got their music, which we enjoy listening to. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, so actually, I think in, the, in a modern world, Tokyo doesn't seem that far away, not really. And what about... You, know, you, you sort of describe yourselves as fans of the band, as well as parents. <laughs> what are your highlights of their, their career so far? Oh, well, playing at the Swanton Nova's Village Hall. That's fate. right. That's right. Their very first performance, wasn't it? The Village Fair. They were very excited about that. <laughs> when was that? Oh, it must be twenty odd years ago now. <laughs> That's how. And I also remember them sort of uh, trying to record their first album in this very room. Do you remember in the dining room? And uh, of course, it's not quite the original band, but there were some lovely members in those days as well. Their school friends joined in and. They recorded several songs. <laughs> and you live in a quiet yeah. area in this beautiful cottage here. Could they make as much noise as they wanted musically, or did you have to warn the neighbours first? Our neighbours were very good, weren't they? And I oh, never very, remember very anyone nice. no, very about Lovely neighbours. Yeah. Lovely neighbours. We've got a piano behind us here as well. Stephanie, I know that you play piano. Do you still have a tinkle on that every now I, and then? I do have a tinkle, so <laughs> I'm not terribly good at practising, but... <laughs> I love to have a tinkle now and then. <laughs> so they uh, recorded, well, recorded their first album here, but what are the sort of childhood memories that you can remember of them being around this house and making music themselves? Oh, wow. Well, that's a very good question. It is. I, I think yeah, the point we've got to emphasise, because we're fairly isolated, I think you'd agree. Yeah. Therefore, you've got to make your own entertainment. And I think to compose music. Mm. They love the Norfolk countryside and the scenery. We get some lovely sunsets here, and that's influenced their music in a sense, hasn't it? It certainly has, yes, it has. Well, I'm playing around, I never thought that I should, but now I know that I was wrong, and they were right. Um, we've also still got, funnily enough, in, in the room that was Duncan's bedroom as a child, and the room that was Selwyn's bedroom as a child. Um, when they were in their teen, early teens, they both want, asked us if they could paint murals in their bedrooms. <laughs> and I think Duncan's mural is still there to see, and that's celebrating their very first band, it isn't is. it, the Mungers? And, and then, then Selwyn's got some yeah, wonderful sunsets. Yeah, we, we could painted. show you before you go. <laughs> we have to stop by there. Because <laughs> <laughs> we just haven't got the heart to cover them up. They're, they're just such a nice memory of our childhood. And I heard a rumour that you've got a review of theirs as well on the wall oh, somewhere in the house. Shall I fetch it? Yeah. <laughs> We have to have a look at that. Oh, it's rather scaling, it, It's I'm not very complimentary, but it didn't put them off. <laughs> OK, let's have a look at that. So we have the review in hand. What magazine was this in? <laughs> well, I think it was Melody Maker. And the boys sent us a tape, a recording of their very first sort of songs up to Melody Maker. And the review says, The Mungers, because that was the name of that band then, the Mungers are three youngsters, aged 15, 17 and 18, from Norfolk, who feel that they combine the melodies of Lennon McCartney with the ironic and carefree attitude of the Mannics. Oh yes, that happy-go-lucky bunch, the Mannics. There's always a lesson in light-hearted frolicking to be learned from them. The Mungers seem to have unearthed a jolly side of the band to inspire them. However, so this is such is the bounciness of their callow music. <laughs> As for capturing Lennon McCartney melodies, the Mungers will learn that there's more to songwriting than a sunny disposition and a lot of repetition. Still. They are but babies. <laughs> and they're so much of it. And you were just saying, you, you don't think they necessarily knew what callow meant? I don't think they knew what callow meant, and I, just, I didn't have the heart to tell them what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a review in a big, yeah. big national magazine. Absolutely. And you were just remembering, Martin, some stuff came from that, right? Yeah, we had some phone calls from America showing interest in them on the, on the back of that <laughs> review. So even though it was very scathing... <laughs> Don't let things like that knock you back. No, Be that's right. Be resilient. Yeah, yeah. So we heard from the boys earlier on. Um, have you got a parting message to leave them with? 
Oh, we just we love our three boys so much, and we're so proud of them. And, and yeah, also their three lovely partners. And our lovely partners, and we just feel very, very, I don't know, very fortunate parents, don't we? We do. Mm. Very fortunate. That's Stephanie and Martin, the parents of uh, the Watton Abbeys, and uh, I was with them in Swanton Novas earlier on as part of our BBC introducing Takeover Day to celebrate our 10th anniversary. And I just have to say that after we had that chat, they took me up to the old bedrooms of, uh, of the boys, and each were allowed to paint their own murals on one wall of the bedroom. I took pictures of them, so I'm going to hopefully put them up on our Facebook page, but you won't believe how artistic they are. I thought they'd be scrawls of stuff and you know teenage things but really really beautiful can you reveal what exactly they are in fact, it sounds like you're hiding something like it's something really intriguing but you're not, let, not letting us know no one of us a really nice kind of countryscape and in fact both were actually um, and, and very much inspired by the area that they lived in just really beautiful stuff yeah really so nice. you're gonna put we're gonna put are we allowed to put those online yeah I've, I've, I've got permission I'll uh, get them up on our uh, BBC introducing in Norfolk Facebook page well how about that love it love it uh, it's Jay Lawrence and Sophie Little here on BBC Radio Norfolk with a special hour of BBC uh, introducing 10th birthday we're all feeling good we've had 